emisión.net Hello again and welcome to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. My name is Jonathan Dawson. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to Protestants? The Federation of Evangelical Organizations, the FEDEVE, is to debate whether to ask the government for a box on tax returns whereby anyone who wishes can assign 0.7% of their tax to Protestant charitable causes. Currently, the only options are Catholic or other. The issue has caused considerable controversy within the Spanish evangelical community, which is split over the question of receiving government funds. The traditional standpoint of Spanish Protestantism has been the outright rejection of the idea of receiving state money, though admittedly when none was on offer. This indeed was the position of the self-same federation when it negotiated its current agreement regarding the status of evangelicals with the government in 1992. And the principle of church-state separation was, and to a large degree still is, embedded in the Spanish evangelical psyche. However, when it comes to the funding of projects which are socially beneficial, some Christians believe they should be open to receiving the same funding as any other social project, especially as, historically, Protestants have been discriminated against when it comes to having access to government aid. Yet there is a large grey area when it comes to distinguishing between social benefit and worship activities. Currently, the a trust set up by the government to administer funds for social and cultural projects uh, for the three recognized religious minority groups uh, in Spain, Protestants, Jews and Muslims, uh, distinguishes between worship and social and cultural. Yet can such a distinction be made? How to classify, for instance, the huge efforts, widely ignored by Spanish society, by the way, being made by evangelical rehabilitation centers or safe shelters. If the love of Christ constrains us to help our neighbor, is that not just as spiritual as the Sunday morning church service? And yet the government, on the one hand, refuses to finance, and in my opinion quite rightly, any activity which can be uh, designated as worship, and yet will give funding for social and cultural projects. However, we evangelicals would see those social and cultural projects as part of our worship. Evangelicals have also had little opportunity and perhaps little interest uh, in learning how to present social projects adequately so that they might qualify for state funding. But many believe that there should be a level playing field with the Catholic Church, and if that one institution receives aid, so should the rest. A survey carried out by this news agency found that 25% thought receiving money uh, would be shameful, 23% that it would be bad, while 15% considered it a good idea, and 11% a magnificent one. So 48% are dead against the idea, while 26% are clearly in favour. A further 23% were in favour of asking for it if this were the way to end discrimination against Protestants in Spain. But I wonder whether it's a price worth paying. We've been told uh, by our Lord in Scripture that discrimination will always be our lot in this world. And buying out of that discrimination is surely an unacceptable road to take. And whether or not it's advisable or even valid to receive money from the government for certain social and cultural projects, conditions will come with that money conditions which ultimately may make it harder to preach the gospel with clarity. Well, thank you for listening to Letter from England, broadcasting for emission.net. Goodbye for now. Emision.net.